Relatives are asking questions tonight about the Irving police chase that resulted in four deaths yesterday. The police investigation continues and it includes whether Irving chase policy was followed. Ken Kaltoff has the story. Dash cam video from the Irving police unit shows the chase approaching the downtown Dallas Stemmons freeway overpass to Woodall Rogers freeway with the vehicle police said was reported stolen up ahead. He just went over. He just went over. All four people in that vehicle were killed in the accident that an Irving police spokesman called a tragic event. The chase began 12 miles from where it ended on North Beltline Road in Irving. I want them to do their job. Neighbors there had conflicting reaction. They should chase, but not with the police van. Today, Irving police declined to release any new information about their investigation. Survivors of those passengers want answers, too. Relatives of 21-year-old Sabria Lacey of Duncanville told us they don't know whose car she was in or how it wound up in Irving, but that she was an innocent passenger out with friends. Also killed were 21-year-old Anthony Lisbon and 22-year-old Diavian Obear, both of Grand Prairie, and 21-year-old Robert Goins Jr. of Dallas. At the Grand Prairie home of 21-year-old Anthony Lisbon, I spoke with grieving family members and friends who did not want to share anything more about him, but they did ask about the Irving chase policy. Unlike some other cities, Irving policy does allow pursuing a suspected stolen vehicle for no more than refusing to stop. The investigation will review the policy, whether all details of it were followed, and background on the suspected stolen vehicle that wound up in a Dallas tragedy. In Irving, Ken Kaltoff, NBC5.